Hi dear learners, I am teacher Ryan, your teacher in AgriCraft 12. Today we are going to tackle how to maintain nursery facilities. Nursery facilities is a structure used in propagating and rearing planting materials that will not survive or grow properly when planted directly in the field. The first step in successful vegetable production is to raise healthy, vigorous seedlings. Young plants, whether propagated from seed or vegetative, required a lot of care, particularly during the early stage of growth. They have to be protected from adverse temperatures, heavy rains, drought, wind, and a variety of pests and diseases. If a small seeded vegetable are sown directly in the field, germination is often poor and the young plants grow very slowly and require a long time to mature. Also, the season may be too short for full development in the field. There are three main types of nursery facilities. First one is the greenhouses. Next, the net house. And third is the open field. And we have also this major component of a greenhouse. First one, we have the foundation. A frame of greenhouses rests on the foundation and it is probably the most important part. There are several materials to consider when deciding the kinds of foundation to be used for the greenhouse. These are the wood timber, concrete or a concrete blocks and bricks are all suitable choices. Number two, we have the flooring. Commercial growers prefer a well-drained concrete floor. It eliminates dirts and weeds that attracts insects and harbor diseases. The light color of concrete also reflect light back on the plants. Gravel and rocks floors are easy to install inexpensive and drain well. Third one, we have this framing. Depending on what is suitable for the selected area and required budget, most frames are made from steel, aluminum, plastic, and wood. Steel is a very strong and permanent. It is preferred by most commercial growers. Aluminum is a long-lasting and especially good for wet climate since it does not rust or rot. Third one, we have this wood. It is very attractive but requires more maintenance and good only for dry climates. And last, we have this plastic. It is very popular for its low cost, portable and easy to install. But the stress of high winds can cause it to break. And number four component of a greenhouse is the covering. Covering is also known as the glazing. It is the most expensive component of the structure. It has the ability to retain or conserve heat vital to successful greenhouse. Covering are made of, number one, we have the glass. Glass makes a beautiful structure that is fairly permanent while Fiberglass was the first practical substitute for glass. It is a translucent instead of clear, so it diffuses light and decreases shadowing. Third, we have the polycarbonate. It is a newer option in greenhouse, covering available in several weeds and in a single, double or triple walled sheet. And last, we have this polyethylene. It is used in approximately 90% of all the commercial greenhouses and it is available in several quality grades but needs to be changed more frequently. It is inexpensive, lightweight and easy to replace. Now let's move to the practices in managing nursery facilities. 
First one to manage is the pest control. Ensure that greenhouses is a pest-free area. Inspect thoroughly all planting materials. Dispose, bury, or burn infected plant parts to avoid diseases dissemination. If necessary, spray or fug fumigate surrounding to prevent or control pest concurrence. Sanitation is one of the most important factors to successful nursery operations. Always clean all the tools and materials used in the operation. Store growing media in and out in the respective storage room. And collect and dispose empty packets or bottles, dry or rotten leaves. Third one, we have this ventilation. Installed ventilation system should be checked frequently to ensure that it's not malfunctioning. And last one, we have the water tanks and irrigation system. Connected lines and houses of watering system need to be checked regularly. Now, let's discuss the good agricultural practices in managing nursery facilities. The nursery should be installed in a place protected from direct sunlight, the prevailing winds, and livestock. The soil should be ideally be healthy, rich, and flat with appropriate structure for sowing and growing of seeds and seedlings. Particular attention must be paid to protecting the nursery against insect, pests, soil diseases, and nematodes, white fly, and other vectors of viruses like aphids and trips. Risk in nursery inclement weather. Agricultural farming deals with various activities for all year round. In the Philippines, the rainy season usually fall on the month of May, July, but in some parts, continuous heavy rainfall are experienced during the month of October to December, brought by typhoons. As such, predicting climatic conditions is difficult and therefore, it's important to always consider proper preventive measures related to inclement weather. This is also useful in avoiding possible hazards brought about by this condition to the structures, crop performance, and workers as well. Windbreaks and its benefit. Windbreaks are provided to reduce the force of wind by planting or maintaining of trees or shrubs. And we have these benefits. First one is to reduce wind speed to modify the climate in the area. Control soil erosion, increases crop quality and yield, improve livestock productivity. And we have the types of windbreaks. First one is these three windbreaks. The common practice of this is to plant several rows of trees around the periphery of the field to serve as windbreaks against wind coming from different directions. Kakawate or glyceri. Rija sipium is usually used while katurai, Sebastiana glandiflora is recommended in vegetable production. It also be used as source of food because young flowers and young pods are utilized as vegetables. And second, we have this net windbreak. In a small area where tree can cause shading that is not favorable for the main crop, Use of fine nylon nets are recommended. This is commonly practiced in honeydew lemon to avoid strong wind that may cause breakage and blowing off vines. One advantage of using nets as windbreak is temporary and can be removed after the particular cropping season. Okay, to check whether you learned something about our topic for today, let's answer the following activities. 